I'd love to show off this view, but it's freezing cold and windy. Holy Several major wildfires raging across Colorado right now. Fast moving flames from the east troublesome fire have torched more than 18,000 acres. Exploding in size overnight, authorities are now going door to door. Strong winds fueling the flames, more homes are threatened tonight. With the forest fire still spreading despite the snowfall, a lot of my ideas for potential videos are being burnt to a crisp. Literally. It's honestly a wake-up call to see some of the spots that I've marked now being covered with the areas of fire. Hundreds are being evacuated from their homes, and some even losing them. My struggles are nothing in comparison to this, but it is still sad to see the beautiful land burning away. Today I'm going to be setting my sights on a place opposite of the Great Rocky Mountains, the Pawnee grasslands in northern Colorado, practically Nebraska with how close it is. Because of the recent snow, I expect it to be fairly cold, but the forecasts aren't telling me anything too miserable. Uh, I'm planning on camping out for a day, make some easy food, hike around, enjoy the stunning landscape, and maybe even shoot a few arrows while I'm at it. We'll see how things develop. Oh, so this lock doesn't actually work. So you gotta do it manually every time. For all the people that don't know my archery past, I've been doing archery reviews for a few years now and it's kind of become the foundation of what the channel is today. I compete in target archery at a professional level and I love to toy around with equipment that most people wouldn't even touch when shooting competitively. There seems to be a common trend in every industry that you need the best of the best to perform at a high level. I love to prove this wrong in archery, and as a person moving into overlanding, hiking, fishing, and everything outdoors related, I have no doubt in my mind that this is also a constant in this industry. And honestly, I'd appreciate some recommendations of some lower budget equipment that'll get me some pretty good results. I know everybody has their own specialties, so I'd honestly really appreciate if you could give me some of your guys' opinions. That wasn't a nice sounding start. If you have any archery questions, I'm your guy, but I'm a student to everything else. Nonetheless, I'm bringing the bow to see if there's a chance I can shoot it. It's gonna be freezing, so who knows? We will see. We might have to save it for another time. And we are off. Oof. Also, the steering is squeaky. Um, I have a power steering fluid leak. I keep on continuously filling it up until I can get it repaired, but I still don't like that squeak. <laughs> So just pulled off onto the road, pretty thing close to the, uh, the spot where I'm going to be camping. Look at that. <laughs> Four wheel drive is a beauty as well. This is about as secluded as it gets. And this is going to be the camp for tonight. You can see the buttes far in the distance. Um, I chose the trailhead because I tried continuing up this little hill up there by a dispersed camping spot that's a little bit further up north. Um, and I started digging myself in and I put it into four wheel drive low, started continuing, um, but wasn't getting any progress. So I just put it back, reversed it, and brought myself back down. I didn't want to take any risks. This last thing I want to do is in an area so secluded, I don't want to get stuck. I have traction boards to get myself out of a hole, but I prefer not to be one in general. And this is going to be my camp for tonight. So let's get started and get something cooked up for dinner. Sheesh, it is chilly. I'd love to show off this view, but it's freezing cold and windy, so I'm just gonna get cooking. See, I'm already covered in snow. Bessie's all covered in snow as well. Let's unlock, get a meal cooked, and get in a flipping car. 
Oh, never been I honestly here. can't describe how freezing it was. The forecast put the temperature in the teens, but this felt like it was hitting much, much lower. The question is how bad do I want this dinner? I was honestly questioning whether to even make instant noodles. Instant noodles that are supposed to take like two minutes to make. I took a screenshot of the weather at the time and it said it felt like negative nine degrees. I don't know why I just noticed this, but negative nine. No wonder I felt like I was slowly having my soul sucked out of me. But anyways, back to me suffering. If you guys don't subscribe, I will personally come after you. Holy crap, it's cold. Yep, the door's freezing shut. Ah. Holy smokes. Ah, man. Without the wind, it's much, much, much more tolerable. Uh, this should help with lighting. That was very cold. It still is very cold, but not as bad since the wind isn't blowing on me. How's your guys' day going? And I'm very glad I decided top ramen instead of something actually like a legitimate. Beautiful. Now I get to enjoy my food and relax. This is the life. Mm. Food. Mm. Feet are a bit cold. Just about done with, uh, with the instant noodles. I guess one thing I want to talk about before I really kind of like settle down is what you guys want to see on this channel. Since I am kind of pivoting to a more variety of content, not just archery reviews, I'm curious to hear what you guys actually want to see. For the new people, the old people, you guys are the reason I'm here. So knowing what you guys actually want to see in these videos is very important to me. If you want to see me go in the mountains and in the mountains only, if you want to see me hike, if you want to see me overland only, what type of content do you want to see? And how can I improve this content? Because this is definitely a work in progress. I'm not getting it first try. I, mean, I have a lot of thoughts of my own, but I want to see what you guys think. If you made it this far into the video, I'd like to share an idea with you. And don't worry, it'll be quick. And if you want to skip, go to this timestamp here. All right, so I've been making this change into a variety of outdoor activities because I want to be creating videos I truly enjoy. Archery reviews are not over by any means, but I want to sprinkle in a bit of everything. Hiking, camping, fishing, bushcraft, backpacking, overlanding, everything outdoors. But here's the thing, I'm not a master of any of these activities and I don't believe I deserve to be in the spotlight for them. So I'd like to find the people that are extremely knowledgeable in their craft. I want to hunt with someone who's been hunting for as long as they remember. I want to go hiking with someone who has conquered the CDT. I want to fish with a fishing guide that is willing to share a bit of knowledge. The people who have something to say in the outdoor industry, but don't have the pedestal to do it. So let me know what you think of the idea. Are you the person I want to talk to? Do you know the person I should talk to? I'll put my email in the description if anybody has something to share. Thank you for the time. Reflectics are up. Time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Freezing. I uh, kept on wake waking up like for every hour of the night. I did not sleep well. This is so wet. Just humidity build up from me sleeping. <sighs> Dang, I'm cold. <sighs> you can even see my breath. Ridiculous. You can look on the edge here. You can see uh, how my breath and how 
the condensation and it froze. It all froze. Time to get up and get ready. Are you kidding me? It froze my cliff bars. Like they're literally all hard as a rock. That's. <laughs> Are you. What? They're not. I don't expect cliff bars to be that easy though. I got a nibble. That's about it. That is rough. It is so cold in here. Ooh, it is bright. Sheesh. Went to a non-windy spot. It's pretty much, um, well, I sit here next to this toilet. <laughs> Everything inside froze. I remember waking up at one of the hours in the middle of the night Reflecting over the trip and what I learned, the thing that stands out to me is realism. Contrary to popular belief, nature is not here to keep you safe, and it showed me its true colors tonight. There are a million ways to die out here, and each one is just as gruesome as the last, and that's just how life goes. I don't think I was anywhere near death at any point in this trip, but the bitter cold gave me a taste of nature's lack of mercy. Your fancy zero degree sleeping bag isn't invincible, a lesson that I learned. <laughs> anything can go wrong in a blink of an eye, so tread lightly and be prepared for anything. Lessons were learned on this trip, and more than I'd like to admit, but I know there will be plenty more to come in future videos. So please consider subscribing, it helps the channel out, and you can always unsubscribe. But nevertheless, I'll see you in the next one.